Hi everyone, it's me. This week I have decided to do a Pilates week. Pilates is something that always kind of feels like home to me. As most of you guys know by now, I used to be a dancer growing up. Being a competitive dancer was basically my only personality trait for like all of high school and university. <laughs> and along with dance training, we actually do a lot of Pilates. We never really specifically called it Pilates while we were training. We would just call it stretch and strength class or something along the lines of that but essentially it was Pilates so yeah Pilates is something I'm definitely very familiar with and I've noticed that Pilates is like really trending right now I'm seeing all kinds of influencers all kinds of celebrities all endorsing Pilates everyone's kind of preaching that Pilates is helping them get fit shape their bodies tone up whatever that means and so I'd like to take another crack at it so if you guys are new to my channel just to catch you up I'm Jamie I recently finished a Caroline Gervin program called Fuel which was a six week super intensive high impact high intensity program incorporating a lot of at home weight training and cardio together in just a really really intense program and I literally just finished that program this morning <laughs> so I was thinking to myself what am I gonna do for my workouts this week and at this point I really want to give my body a break from those more higher impact movements I definitely just want to give my joints a rest from that for at least a week if you know what I mean so naturally Pilates came to the forefront of my mind. So since I just finished my previous workout program this morning, I am going to start Pilates week tomorrow morning. But before then, I just wanna give you some Pilates facts in case you've clicked onto this video and don't know what Pilates is. So I have my notes on my iPad right here. So if I'm looking that way, it's cause I'm reading. <laughs> I am by no means a Pilates expert. Yes, I've done it for many, many years, but I've never like studied it or became a certified Pilates instructor or anything like that. So I am gathering all my information from Google here. So if anything is not accurate, blame Google. <laughs> okay, so from a quick Google search, I learned that Pilates is a type of mind-body exercise developed in the early 20th century by a German physical trainer, Joseph Pilates, after whom it was named. Pilates called his method Contrology. It is practiced worldwide, especially in Western countries such as Australia, Canada, the US, and the UK. Pilates is a popular low-impact exercise. It's effective for toning up, building lean muscle, and improving posture. Practicing Pilates can be beneficial for your health and help you maintain a healthy weight. So that's my general overview of Pilates that I got from Google. And then one more thing I just wanted to discuss before we get into the workouts tomorrow. I Googled the difference between Pilates and yoga because I know a lot of people tend to get those two terms mixed up. So on that Google search, I found that yoga can help deepen your meditation practice, improve your flexibility and help with balance. Pilates on the other hand, may be better for recovering after injury, improving posture and for core strength. And then there was another website that said both Pilates and yoga are low impact exercises, but there is one important difference. When practicing yoga, you typically adopt a position and hold it or flow into a different position. In Pilates, you adopt a position and then challenge your core by moving your arms or legs. So essentially what I get from that, I don't know, it's kind of confusing because you could say that yoga focuses more on flexibility and Pilates more on strength, but you can also train your strength in yoga and you can also increase your flexibility in Pilates, I feel like. But yeah, that's just what I found from Google. I love both Pilates and yoga. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm just showing you my personal experiences. So with that being said, I have chosen a great selection of YouTube Pilates workouts to try this week from a variety of different instructors. As usual, I will link every single workout I try in this video down in the description box below. So you can also try all of them if you like. I think that's all I had to say. A bit of a long intro today. I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to give you my Google Pilates facts. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow morning when I start Pilates week. Good morning. It is so gloomy and rainy today. It kind of makes the perfect setting for some morning Pilates. <laughs> so the first workout I'm going to be trying this week is from Move with Nicole, which in my opinion is like the Pilates online internet queen right now. <laughs> I've done a whole bunch of workouts from her channel in the past and I've loved every single one of them. I think her Pilates flows are just so good. Her voice is so soothing. She's so graceful. She's just really relaxing to follow a Pilates workout. Workout with. The workout I have chosen for this morning is a 35 minute dancer Pilates workout. This is a full body sculpt, so let's go. Oh 
Oh my gosh, that <laughs> burned. <laughs> Pilates, I feel like, is a style of exercise where you can like totally feel the burn. You're totally working your muscles, but it's kind of relaxing and meditative at the same time, which is what I really like about it. So yeah, definitely love that. What can I say? That was a great start to Pilates week. We definitely worked the entire body. Just so soothing. Perfect way to wake up, really. I feel like it's good for the morning, but it also could be good for the evening. Like it would act as a winding down kind of a workout, which is interesting that I think that because it would work both ways in that case. But anyways, really liked that. Thank you. Move with Nicole. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care I don't even know what to talk about this morning It's raining I already said that mm. Sometimes I turn on the camera And I have no idea what to say My hair looks funny today Look at it Why does it look like this? It looks like crimped Remember when crimped hair was a style? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to say. This is breakfast though. Happy breakfast. Hey guys, it's a few hours later. I'm eating lunch right now. For my meal prep lunches this week, I made my favorite pasta a la vodka. This is a half-baked harvest recipe. I use it all the time. It's so good. Yeah, I'm just having lunch. I just wanted to update you. My <laughs> inner thighs are already so sore. <laughs> I already feel the soreness. It's been like, what, five hours? Not excited to see how sore I am tomorrow when I wake up if I'm already feeling sore right now. That's what happens when you haven't done something for a while and try and do it again. I've been doing Caroline Gervin workouts for the past six weeks and have not done Pilates, so yeah in a bit of pain right now, but we'll get over it, hopefully. <laughs> Good morning, it is Tuesday. Just a little status update for you guys on my inner thighs. I don't feel as sore as I thought I was going to. I guess it was just more of an immediate soreness. It's faded a bit since the last time I updated you guys, so the soreness is still there a little bit, but it's definitely nothing that will like stop me from moving today. So we're gonna move on with a Pilates day two today. The workout we are going to be trying is a 30 minute full body Pilates workout this one is from, <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this name, San Loe. I was very intrigued when I saw this one on YouTube because although I absolutely cannot pronounce her name, I used to watch some of San's YouTube videos and I thought she just did kind of more lifestyle videos. I always watched her what I eat in a day, but I didn't know that she now is doing online YouTube workouts. Let's try this workout. I'm definitely very, very curious. that one. Overall, I really liked the flow of this workout. San did a really good job at incorporating stretching kind of throughout the workout. It wasn't just like a warm-up stretch at the beginning and a cool down stretch at the end, although we did do that, but she also sprinkled in like little stretching spurts throughout the entire video, which I liked. So it was like strength, stretch, strength, stretch, etc. And I really enjoyed that format. Similar with like Nicole, San has like kind of the perfect Pilates yoga instructor voice. It's very soothing, it's very calm. But I would say one critique that I did have for this video is that some of the pacing seemed a bit off. What is an example? Like San would be counting down from 10, like if you're doing 10 of a certain exercise, she would be like 10 nine and then she would give you a form tip while you were doing your eighth rep and then when you were on your seventh rep she would be like eight just kind of like resume her counting but like not taking into account that she really took some time to give you that form tip i hope i'm explaining that correctly like it makes sense in my head <laughs> but then it would just throw off all the pacing because you'd be like no but i'm on my seventh rep now but she would be counting on eight and that's just kind of a little pet peeve of mine and i'm just noticing that now because i feel like move with nicole has like a really really good pace through her workout because she does the voice voiceovers after the fact. I think it's a lot easier for her to like keep exactly in time with her voiceover. Where San here is coaching you live time while she's doing the workout. So I guess there's a bit of a difference there. But yeah, those are my thoughts for today. Overall enjoyed it. There are a couple little things that maybe could have been improved for me, but I'm glad I tried it. I would probably do another one from her channel again. And yeah, that's it for this one. I know this is a Pilates video, but look how good this toast looks. I got this recipe, I guess, from TikTok. It's like an air fried peanut butter, banana, maple syrup toast thing. Air fried peanut butter, banana, so. Air fried 
peanut butter bonanza. That's a good name. <laughs> Eat it with the sausage. Sausage air fried bonanza bite. <laughs> that shouldn't be allowed. It tastes banned. It tastes banned like it shouldn't be allowed. Oh, it's so good. Just like search on TikTok for banana. For air fried banana toast. Bonanza. It's basically just bread, peanut butter, banana, maple syrup, and you put it in your air fryer for 10 minutes, and that's it. There you go. <laughs> no need to search for a recipe. <gasps> it's so good. Good morning. I am no longer sore as of today. It's Wednesday, by the way. So onwards we go with our Pilates adventure. Today we are going to try a workout from Eleni Fit. I have absolutely never tried anything from this channel before. I have not watched any of her videos. I just found this when I searched Pilates. So this video is a 30 minute Pilates hit. Burn fat and tone muscle. Seems like maybe there's a little bit of a cardio mix in this workout, kind of more like a fusion style. Interestingly enough, on the thumbnail for this video, there is a calorie burn claim, which you guys know I'm not totally a fan of because every single person burns calories at a different rate. So while someone, maybe Eleni, burns 300 calories doing this workout as claimed in her thumbnail, not everyone will. Some people will burn less, some people will burn more so I think that's just a little bit misleading I just feel like it's not necessary in a Pilates video to be like how many calories am I gonna burn just cuz I don't know I feel like Pilates isn't a style of exercise that really focuses on calorie burn it's more like that long sustained strength burn but anyways I'm gonna try this workout we'll see how it is back when I met you we're like fireworks, thought nothing could break us, but oh how we got burned. Look at us now, we scream, we fight, and no one knows the reason. We're both getting out of line. Mm -mm. Now say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. Hmm, this is another mixed one for me. First of all, I mean, not that this matters, but I burned 115 calories, which I think is a decent amount for a 30 minute Pilates workout. Clearly didn't burn 300. Again, like I do not care about burning 300 calories. I don't need to, but I just wish that calorie claim wasn't on the thumbnail to begin with. To talk about the workout, I'll start with things I like. I thought some of the exercises that she included in this workout were pretty unique, pretty cool. We did some sequences of things, which I always love like kind of putting together a couple different moves. I feel like adding that variation in there just makes things a lot more exciting. So I definitely liked that. Eleni was also very good at demonstrating things. I thought she had great form so it was easy to watch her and then follow what she was doing. That also leads me to a thing I didn't like because there was so much variation in the moves she was doing. I think a lot of them would have benefited from like a voiceover giving you form tips. I mean it could be a voiceover, it could be like a text layover or something. Just something to help describe the movement a bit more and yeah just on top of that I definitely prefer the Pilates workouts that are more like a yoga flow rather than like a timer based one of those silent workouts with Pilates and yoga I definitely like the reps counting the instructor telling you when to breathe all that stuff so I think this workout could have benefited from a bit of that kind of a flair but yeah Definitely something new that I tried. Definitely a unique style. It was kind of a combo between Pilates, maybe like a dancer sculpt, and a little bit of hit. But yeah, those are my thoughts for this one. Good morning. It is Friday, so happy Friday. Yesterday I actually took an active rest day from my Pilates training and I went for a run in the morning. I've been really enjoying this. I've been making it a habit to go out on a run once a week, weather permitting of course. I've done it for the past like three or four weeks now I think, so it's slowly and gradually becoming a habit. I've been really enjoying it. It kind of breaks up the week and gets me out of the house and it's just a really good way to wake yourself up in the morning I find, like going outside, having some fresh air, sunshine and just some good cardio so yeah that was yesterday but today we are resuming our Pilates journey and today we will be trying the 30 minute summer Pilates workout from Lottie Murphy this is another channel that I've never heard of or never tried so I'm really excited so yeah let's do this one Down the street so many times my feet 
I actually really, really enjoyed that one. So Lottie's video style had that follow along, coaching you through the workout. It wasn't like the silent workouts with just the music and the beeps. So I've already said that for Pilates workouts, I do enjoy the more coaching you through style of instruction. So definitely liked that. And Lottie was a very, very good at it, I think. Her instruction was very clear. Her pacing was good. She had awesome form tips. She was also very calming, which is a good thing to have when you're like a Pilates or a yoga instructor. And yeah, it was just very relaxing, meditative. We did a lot of good stretching in there, but we also did have some of that muscle burn, specifically like the outer glute section, like the glutes and the outer glutes. I was like, okay, this burns. <laughs> I also think if you are a beginner and if you're just getting into Pilates, this video would be a good one to start with because I feel like the movements Lottie does are very simple but effective and just she explains them so well that if you're a beginner and you're not used to like the Pilates style moves, this would be a really good place to start. So yeah, that's it for today. Really, really liked that one. Good morning. Today is the final day of our Pilates week and we are trying trying a workout from Heather Robertson today. Today's workout is a total body Pilates workout, no repeats, hit fusion. So I'm expecting something more similar to the Eleni Fit video I did, where the structure of the workout is more hit based And yeah, maybe there will be a mix of a little bit more cardio in there, I'm not sure. I actually don't think I've ever done a Heather Robertson Pilates workout before. If I have, maybe I've just tried one before. But in general, I do love Heather workout. I think overall she's a really good trainer. Generally all her workouts are very well rounded, they're very structured, well thought out, and I just think she has a lot of great experience with training. So yeah, I'm expecting great things from this workout. Let's do it. And with that, we are done Pilates week. I really enjoyed Heather's Pilates workout here. I was correct when I predicted that Heather's Pilates workout would be like timer, BP, no follow along instruction based. That's just the format that Heather uses in all her workout videos, so I expected that. I did say I thought maybe there would be some cardio involved in here because the title was a Pilates hit fusion, but there wasn't. I think the only hit influence on it was just having those timers there. We did 40 seconds active for each set and then 20 second rests in between. So I think that was like the hit portion of it. The movements, the exercises themselves that we did were all quite Pilates based. I liked that one. Great way to end Pilates week. <laughs> so with that, what are my overall takeaways from doing purely just Pilates this week? First of all, if you guys have just finished a very intensive workout program, I know for a fact that a lot of you do Caroline's programs. I would definitely recommend doing a week of Pilates after you've finished one of those or really just any other high intensity program. Program. I think doing the week of Pilates, having the week for mobility, low impact work was just what my body needed to like balance itself out again after doing so much high impact, so much weight. I feel like my body really craved this. So in the past, I know I've said that sometimes I feel lost after finishing a workout program, like a super structured workout program, and I didn't know what to do. Now I know what to do, and that is Pilates. <laughs> so yeah, if you've never tried Pilates before, I would definitely recommend it. You're not going to get a super high calorie burn but that's not really the point of Pilates so yeah just know that I don't think burning calories is all that important the overall big picture for me is just doing things that my body likes to do <laughs> but yeah those are my thoughts and then moving on to my recommendations from this week I think every workout I did this week benefited in a different way everything I did kind of had a different focus but I would say for me personally overall queen overall still my favorite Pilates workouts to follow is move with Nicole is just like a master of Pilates. I love the flows that she creates. I love how she guides you through them. So still number one for me. I would say if you are a beginner and you're only just starting to get into Pilates, I would recommend Lottie Murphy. And then if you're looking to do a Pilates workout, but really like that structure where you have the set active times and the set rest times and you like hearing the beeps and that's just kind of where your mind likes to be when you work out, I would recommend Heather Robertson. Of course, San and Eleni were great for me this week as well, but just for my highlights, just for the specific workouts I tried this week I would say those three were at my top recommendations and yeah 
that's it for this week. <laughs> I can definitely see why a lot of influencers and celebrities nowadays really seem to like doing Pilates. It's a very gentle style of training, but you still feel that burn. You still get those endorphins in your body after exercise, but you also get like meditation at the same time. So definitely recommend. All right, you guys, that's it for this one. I'm gonna end it here. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, I don't know if there's Pilates themed emojis, but I definitely know there's yoga themed emojis. So just give me some yoga themed emojis. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!